Who are you and what do you do at Crystal Commerce? My name is Jordan and I'm the head of operations and the head of admin at Crystal Commerce. I'm Dave Fazzani and I uh, do back-end developments. I'm Jared Ellison, I'm the head of business development here at Crystal Commerce. My name is Nick Amelia and I'm the manager of platform operations. I'm Paul Martin and I represent the client experience department. Why doesn't the POS support coupons and gift cards? Please add this. Another great thing about POS v4 that we're looking to add is going to be gift cards. So we've added an API endpoint to include gift cards and also coupons to POS. Uh, before in the past, we did not have coupons for POS, only had that for online. So that'll be something that we plan on having in a future release for POS v4. At Gamma, it was stated that market price data would be located within POS v4. Could you please explain this? So the market price inside of the POS v4 uh, just gives you the ability to view the market price even though your prices may not be set to it. Uh, this will help you do a little bit more bargaining with your uh, customers as well as show them that you're giving them the best deal in town. I heard Admin 2.0 mentioned at Gamma. Is this a new admin panel? Admin 2.0 is basically the transformation of our core infrastructure. So uh, as a lot of you may know, we've done some different things with uh, migrating our servers into a different platform, but then we're also changing the infrastructure. But what we found with the rate that we've grown and just the, the sheer volume of different transactions and uh, calls that go on in our system is we've needed a better way to scale and to provide our services to all our clients. So we're utilizing um, what we call our Crystal API to build our Core 2.0 and our Admin 2.0 platform so that its performance is better, has better user experience and user interface, um, and basically it's something that we can build upon and not only us internally as Crystal Commerce, but also allow third-party access to, um, to other developers that can access the the core and the admin via an API. Many of you have already seen the Marketplace app because you went to Gamma and saw the presentation. It's a, a new, fresh application that makes use of the Crystal API endpoints. Admin 2.0 is going to be another internal tool because an, a good admin that's user-friendly, that allows you to you know, go through your orders and, and make sure that shipping takes place, do your business. We, that needs that needs to be smooth. It needs to work, and you need to have you know you don't need any hangups on that. So we are doing the same thing with Admin 2.0 that we have done for Marketplace, and you'll get to enjoy that uh, coming up in the future. The financial graph in my admin has stopped displaying bars and is only displaying numbers when I hover over where the bars should be. Why? Um, I believe that is uh, an issue with the Flash plugin in your browser. I'd recommend making sure that you have Adobe Flash up to date. Why can't I automate batch updates? I run the same batch update every day. So an update was made to batch updates just a few months back and we are looking for ways to improve upon it. One of the things that exists in there right now is the clone little hyperlink that you can actually basically rerun a batch update um, that you have done previously. So it's not automating and scheduling it, but it's almost as good. You just have to go to that screen, hit the little blue link, and you'll actually be able to rerun that batch update that you ran previously. Um, but again, our head developer, Marcelo, is looking at ways to improve that and potentially automate it or do something that does make your life a little bit easier. Can the sample emails that get sent out to my customers be edited or customized or just turned on and off? Uh, the sample emails at the moment can't be edited. Um, they are hard-coded into the system. The only thing that can be edited with them is the information that gets pulled automatically, which is like your address and company name information. Hopefully that's something that we might be able to add in the future, uh, but right now it's not possible. What are some fixes and new developments that your engineering team is working towards? One of the things that we are very passionate about right now is we're, you know, it's the, the business, Crystal Commerce has been around since 2006 and a lot has changed. And you've, I mean, we're always about trying to be with the best, with the latest and greatest so that we can uh, have appeal to our customers and so that we can uh, have effective, efficient tools. And so we have uh, been developing the Crystal API, which 
provides a set of endpoints. And initially, this has helped us transition away from old code, which is ugly and kind of deprecated um, and not it's not acting as well as it used to because back in the past when we first started we had much fewer clients. We have a, a large set of clients now and because of that we're dealing with scaling issues. Using the Crystal API gives us a stepping stone to be able to move away from the legacy code and start working towards something that is very solid, very scalable, um, which means less downtime for you and more making the money. Now the other side benefit to all this is it will be made available to you. These endpoints, if you if you know somebody who knows how to develop or you're, you're, you yourself are technically minded, you can take these same endpoints and you can create whatever you want. Will POS version 4 finally allow for cost of goods reporting? POS v4, we definitely want to have cost of goods um, in, in the reporting. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be something that's going to be in the initial release. So long term, we definitely want to have cost of goods. Um, it's just with the secondary market is something that is pretty complicated uh, to figure out and to really give a good number for that. But we are trying to figure that out for our retailers to have that as part of a reporting suite. Um, it's not necessarily going to be directly in uh, the POS necessarily, but hopefully it can be. Why isn't there an option to batch update to TCG player average price? Well, currently our market price is based on a number of different sales channels, and we feel that it's more accurate to involve TCG player, Amazon, eBay, our direct website, and our point of sale into the pricing algorithm. Thank you to everyone who submitted their questions. If you have a question, please send it to marketing at crystalcommerce.com with the subject line Q&A sessions.